Good morning. Welcome to, to this morning's yin practice. So one hour practice for prenatal. Um, as with all practices, just come to your edge, resolve to stay still. We'll hold each practice for around four minutes or so. Um, breathe the whole time, your jai breath. I will put a few uh, pranayamas onto another page on the um, members access so uh, you can come in and practice your jai breath um, with instruction. Just in another week or so I'll have that up and running. So let's open our practice with three oms followed by the Gayatri Mudra. Hands to heart center, Namaskar Mudra, close down the arms. Inhale. Exhale. Om. Om. Inhale. Om. One more. Inhale. Om. Nice big circles. Back the other way. Let's just go to the left to right. gentle movement Come back to center hands out in front wrist nice big circles take the thumbs onto the inside of the palms wrap the fingers around Back the other way. Arms up. Sideways. Give the hands a shake. Okay. So coming off your block, let's come into our first pose. We're going to come into butterfly pose. So take the soles of the feet together. Now, if you can, depending on how far you are in your pregnancy, if you can come into zipper toes here. So zipper toes, you're just threading the toes in between each other. So you can start off with a little toe, threading it inside, or the big toe, whatever suits you. Don't worry if it's not perfect, it takes a little bit of practice and it feels a bit strange, but it's really, really good to open up the toes for excellent balance. So obviously you're a bit off balance at the moment, 
you will be for nine months so you really need to work on that posture and your balance so take the soles of the feet together or into zipper toes and then just lengthen take the feet away so you've got this nice diamond shape you can use your block for the forehead or probably not a bolster at this stage you can use a bolster if you do have a bolster you can bring the bolster in front to rest the head on that's okay I'm just going to sit up nice and tall so long through the back pull the fleshy bits out from underneath we're going to inhale exhale fold forward just come to your edge resolve to stay still You're getting a nice long lengthening, nice stretch through the spine, right from the sacrum. You also should be feeling this in the hips and the inner thighs maybe, and the buttocks. So just witness any sensations. Come into your jive breath. Gentle ocean sound in the back of the throat. Breathe here. Jive breath. holding any tension in the shoulders or the back, just let it go. head to fall to the earth with gravity. Last 90 seconds. Sixty seconds, we're almost there. Stay with it. Allowing the body to melt with each exhale. Becoming more and more heavy with each round of breath. 30 seconds. Inhale, coming out of that pose. Walk your fingertips back, undo your zipper toes. Take your feet to mat with the partner. It's windscreen wiper here. And come on to the long side of your mat. Bend the left leg and the right leg comes out to the side. So we're doing a half straddle today. Sit high on the sit bones. 
Inhale, circle the arms up. Square the shoulders to the right leg and then just fold over that right leg. Just come into a, not a, not a strong twist, just your capacity. Flex that right foot, lengthen through the hamstrings. So this might be you today. You could come down, just depending on how much room you've got for Bubba. And just breathe here. Soft your jive breath. That's that gentle constriction in the back of the throat. Calming down the parasympathetic nervous system. Calming the mind, sending a beautiful long vibration through the body. Last 60 seconds. Breathe here. Forty seconds. Let's take the left leg out, bring the right foot in here. We're going to inhale up, square the shoulders to the left leg and then fold over that left leg. Long through the spine and fold. Just come to your edge, maybe onto the spider tip fingertips. Breathe here. Soft your jive breath. 
gentle ocean sound in the back of the throat. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Come to your edge. Last 90 seconds. Flex that left foot, engage through the hamstrings. Nice, beautiful hamstring stretch. Last 60 seconds. Thirty seconds, almost there. Inhale, let's come up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Now let's take both legs wide. Readjust the sit bones. Bring your bolster in front. Bolster, pillow, rolled up blanket so you've got a nice round shape. Inhale up. Exhale, let's fold forward over your bolster. Just come to your edge, flex the feet, really engaging through those hamstrings. Maybe resting on a bolster and a block for the forehead. All these beautiful forward folds, we're taking the baby's weight off the spine, giving the spine a break, allowing the belly to support the baby. These beautiful forward folds. Just come to your edge, resolve to stay still. then just coming back up you can take your bolster off to one side let's do a nice wrist stretch here so tips of the fingers onto the mat just in front of you bring the palms down just to your edge and then draw the body back feel a beautiful stretch from the wrist through to the elbow on the underside of the arm. Really beautiful stretch here. If you've been working on computers behind a desk or even just daily activities, looking after the other children or the house or the garden. We really don't give our wrists a fair go. We don't give them a stretch. Breathe 
breathe here. And then gently draw back. Turn the hands around so that the back of the hands are on the mat and draw the body back. And just come to your edge, you'll feel it here with a nice stretch from the wrist through to the elbows on the top side of the arm this time. Nice big stretch. more breaths. And let that go. Thumbs into the palm of the hand. Nice circles. Back the other way. So let's bend the left leg. We're going to come into a square pose. So bend the left leg so that the shins are in line with the mat. Then bring the right ankle on top of the left knee, just the best that you can. So the idea here is to have the legs perfectly stacked. It's also called stacking the logs or square pose. Then take the fingers down onto the mat. Lean forward just as much as you can. I've just got to keep an eye out for monkeys. And here he is, they're absolutely beautiful. Oh my God, I love that monkey. Here comes the other one. It's just quite a strong, whoa, hey, oh my God, there's three of them. It's okay. I've so got to get this on film, sorry guys. I don't know if you can get that there. Yeah, you are beautiful. So, so special. I don't know, I hope you can see him. Very, very special. Hello. It's okay. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Anyway, let's continue. So sorry about that. So coming back to our square. Oh, there's so many of them. Oh, the ugly ones are here. Oh, bit of a monkey war going on. Let's bend that left foot to the buttocks. Then we're going to take the right knee over the left. Just bring the fingertips down to the side. Softy dry breath. Let's just come into an open twist here. So bring the left hand to the left, beside the left knee, and the right hand to the right side. And there's three monkeys getting very, very close here to me.
So the left leg, left knee is on top of the right and we're coming into a nice twist here, just an open twist. Sort of surrounding me. Oh dear. Another thirty seconds. seconds and come back to center let that go this time take the right foot right lower leg in line with the side of the mat or the front of the mat however you're sitting square the hips here square the lower legs Fingertips to the air. Soft to jaw breath. Maybe walk the kick hands a little bit forward. Ninety seconds. Sixty seconds, we're almost there. Twenty, twenty seconds. Really opening up the hips. Quite a strong pose, the square pose. Very, very strong on the on the hips, on the buckets. Let's inhale up. Now bring the right foot to the. So the left foot to the right buttocks and bring the right leg on top, coming into your square pose. Stacking the knees on top of each other. And let's bring the right hand to the front, left hand behind, open twist here. So you're just, you're not twisting through the body, you're in a nice open twist.
and taking the gaze just out to the left. into our shoelace pose. Breathing. And holding any tension in the legs, let it go. Just do another 60 seconds here. Soft, each eye breath. Fifty seconds. Thirty seconds. Gently come back to center. Undo the legs, take the feet to mat width apart, and windscreen wiper here. That was exciting, that little monkey war. Okay, well, let's come into a wide knee child's pose. Take the feet and knees to mat width apart. Have the toes, the big toes touching. Bring your bolster in front. If you have a bolster um, long ways. We're going to inhale. And with a nice long flat back, just fold forward. Make a pillow with the hands laying over your bolster. Coming into your jai breath there. I'm just going to stay up. Keep an eye out for these rogue monkeys this morning. They're very active. Three minutes to go. Really relax down into child's pose. Enjoy every moment. Breathe.
stay with it. Allow the body to melt with each exhale. Last 50 seconds. Thirty seconds. Twenty seconds. Inhale, coming up. Let's come down onto your mat. Bring the legs out in front. Now from here, we're going to just have your bolster off to the left side. Just lean down onto that uh, bolster with the left elbow. From here, take the right, uh, Sorry, the left leg back, bend the left knee and keep the right leg straight. Bring the right leg out in front. Now from here, lean down onto that bolster, take hold of the left leg and then just draw the left leg behind. Right leg stays straight. You should feel a nice little stretch on that left quad. And you'll also feel a nice lengthening down the right hamstrings. This one's called cat pulling the tail for some reason. So just allow the body to melt into it. So the full pose is laying straight on the mat and coming into quite a, a strong twist. So this is just a gentle version for prenatal. Still getting a nice stretch down that hamstring. You're getting a nice stretch here on the left quad. Another 60 seconds. And then we'll change the legs. It actually opens up the shoulder as well, so that's quite nice. A little bit of a bonus there. Just witness any sensations in the body here. 40 seconds. Twenty seconds are almost up. Inhale, let's come in. Bring the bolster to the other side. Let's come onto the right elbow. And then the bottom leg, so that'll be your right leg, just bring that one back. Come onto the right hip, take hold of the left foot, and bring that behind. Right leg stays on top, flex that left foot, sorry. Flex the left foot. Minutes. 
get a little bit of a pull on that right quad. Nice lengthening through the left hamstring and then just a slight opening of the heart here. Cat pulling the tail. Another 30 seconds. Let's bring the knees wide one more time. Bolstering front. Inhale. Exhale, fold down into your child's pose. Just a nice little child's pose here for a couple of minutes. Take the head to the opposite side that you had the head before. So if you had your gaze to the right side, just take it to the left side this time. Another 60 seconds. Breathe here. Soft your jaw breath. seconds. Thirty seconds. coming up we're coming into shavasana now gathering anything you need for shavasana so laying on your left side Maybe laying on a bolster, maybe having another block or another bolster for your right knee. Just coming into the most comfortable position that you can be if you have a nice long pillow. Bring that to the front of the body, cuddle, cuddle into that pillow. Closing down the eyes. If you have an eye pillow, beautiful, it'd be lovely. Closing down the eyes. Take the awareness to the breath. And with each exhale, just allow the body to become more and more heavy. Give the body permission to melt into the earth. Normal. 
mutai. Rahima, exhale. Inhale. Visualizing white light coming from the Mulakara Shakta to the heart. Exhale back down to the base chakra one more time. Inhale white light coming up through each chakra center to the heart. Exhale down. Inhale. White light to the heart. Exhale down to the Mulakara Chakra. Visualize now the heart opening up. Inhale. White light comes out of the heart space and just gently covers the chest. Exhale recedes back into the body, back to the Mulakara Chakra. Inhale, white light comes out through the heart, over the chest, over the shoulders. Exhale, back into the body. Inhale, white light comes up through the chakras, over the heart, shoulders, and circles the whole body. Visualize your body lying here on its place on this earth, surrounded by healing light. The whole body. White healing light surrounding the whole body, the baby. Take your awareness now to the sounds in the room. The sound of my voice. Maybe you have a candle burning or some music in the background. Allow those sounds just to go into the corner of each room. And take your awareness now to any sounds outside of the house outside of your room, the sounds of nature, maybe you can hear the birds in the background here in the mountains, the sounds of nature, the sounds of life, the sounds of the universe, I'm gathering all those sounds now, and bringing them back into the room, back into the four corners of the room. Inhale. And exhale. And on this next inhale, gather all the sounds of the universe from outside and inside the room. Gather them all up with your breath. Exhale, drawing all those sounds into the heart space. Exhale. Inhale. Gathering all the white energy surrounding the body. Exhale, bringing all that white light back into the body and the heart space closes the heart. whole body is radiate, radiating energy from the room, from the universe, from nature. You are now at one with the whole universe, you and your baby.
slowly, gently introducing movement into the fingers and toes. Rolling the head from side to side. Gently coming up to a seated position. You can sit on a block, sit onto easy pose, or maybe into onto the knees. Maybe take the head from the right to the left. Take the two piece fingers of the right hand to the third eye center. Left hand in Jhana Mudra, palms facing up, and just allow that hand to just relax in the lap. Exhale. Cover the right nostril with the thumb. Inhale through the left for five, four, three, two, and one. Close the left. Exhale right for five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale right, close the right, exhale left, inhale left, close the left, exhale right, inhale right, close the right, exhale left. Soften the shoulders on the exhale. Now lift. Close the left. Exhale right. Inhale right. Close the right. Exhale left. Inhale left. Close the left, exhale right. Inhale right. Close the right, exhale left. Inhale left. Close the left, exhale right. Inhale right. Close the right. Exhale left. Float the right hand down to the top of the left. Thumbs are touching. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Let's create our light bubble here. Inhale up. Exhale down. Visualize white light. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale, creating a beautiful white bubble here. Healing energy. Healing white light. You can put anyone you like in this bubble. You and your baby, you're here. Maybe other siblings, your partner, extended family, your parents, everyone in this beautiful bubble. Maybe community friends, country, the universe, anything you like. Just keep the bubble for you and your baby, that's okay too. Inhale, blue light now for protection. Protecting you and your baby and anyone you have in your bubble. Now, 
visualizing pink light for love energy. Surrounding you and your baby with beautiful pink loving energy. Exhale, hands in Namaskar Mudra. Bring the hands down onto your tummy. You're feeling love, protection, healing for you and your baby. It's the heart center. Namaskar. Let's close our practice with one arm and three shantis. Inhale. Inhale for Shanti. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Clasp the hands behind the back. Inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Surrender yourself to Mother Earth. Rub the hands together. Take the hands over the eyes, feel the warmness. Give the face a little massage here. Fingertips from the third eye centre to the temple. And then from the third eye center down the nose, the sinuses. And then from the jaw to the chin, maybe down the neck. From the chin to the jaw, and down the neck. everyone have a beautiful day and I'll see you next time